pride, baby I'm back Born a rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only got one, so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby I'm bad What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cece, a.k.a. Cecilia Robinson, a.k.a. Cece. And I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in with me today. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell so you know when I'm coming on. Listen, please, 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 I'm begging you, please, please share the videos. To my new subs, thank you guys so much for choosing me. To my old subs, I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Hard. Listen, my videos are done in chronological order so you can always go back and bring yourself up to speed. I get asked a lot of questions. Where am I from? How old am I? What do I use on my skin? How are my children? Did I do state time, fed time? What were my charges? What was I locked up? Listen, answers to all of those questions can be found in those previous videos. I also have a playlist. My playlist is in perfect order. Now, the only thing that's not included in my playlist are my live streams. Every Sunday night, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, I do a live. You can tap into the chat. You can ask me questions. Just don't be disrespectful. You know, um, sometimes I can get to your questions. Sometimes I won't. But I swear it's all love and I appreciate you. Now, for people who want more content, more content is here. Every Saturday, I drop exclusive content that's not prison stories. It's about me for the C Have members. C Have members only only if you want to join the see have just hit that little join button at the top of your page or dm me inbox me or comment up under one of the previous videos and say hey i need the link i'll be johnny on the spot giving you the link now for the people who don't know me i was told on i was indicted and i was convicted of a bunch of felonies my leading charges is corrupt organization and conspiracy and right now i'm talking about being at sci muncie that state correctional institute muncie i'm no longer in in jail i'm in prison and right now it's been about a week since i seen mirror you know what i'm saying and i'm absolutely cool with that you know what i'm saying so i'm in my cell i'm chilling it's lockdown time i just got through kicking it with whitley and I'm, I'm, I'm cool you know what i'm saying um i don't received about 40 kites from 40 other chicks you know, I, I got my shit going on. And I'm expressing to Miss Whitley, like, I got to do better with the, the people I choose to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Um, Even with Whitley, she was clingy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And that's not something that, that I wanted to deal with. You know, and she wasn't mentally stable, if you ask me. I don't think I was mentally stable, but it just is what it is. However it go, we get a knock on the wall. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? That's my, my, the next door, the bitch in the cell next door. So I hop up on the toilet and get up on the sink, and I get up in the vent. I'm like, yo, what's up, Echo? That was the girl name. You know what I'm saying? She like, hey, I'm getting ready to do that thing. I need you to, to look out for me. I say, I right, bet, no problem. I hop down off the sink get back on the floor, you know what I'm saying, now what she needed me to do, was she needed me to watch out for COs, because she wanted to smoke, how the girls smoked inside the prison, inside the unit that I was on, because we wasn't allowed to smoke, I don't smoke, but we wasn't allowed to smoke, she jumped up on the sink, and she would light the cigarette, and blow smoke inside the vent, and then squeeze baby powder, to cover up the smoke smell, you know what I'm saying, and we, they only smoked at nighttime. They only smoked in they cell at nighttime when, you know, everybody was sitting still. However it goes, a few minutes later, I hear a big ass crash. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So I go over to the vent. I get up there. I'm like, yo. I'm like, you good over there? You know what I'm saying? So her celly year back up and say, hey, this bitch just fell. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, are you serious? She say, yeah. She was like, she ain't moving. I'm like, stop playing. She said, like, she's not moving. So, Miss Wendy, come over there. She was like, what's wrong? I said, like, man, I said, Echo just fell. I said, like, hey, grab everything she got. You know what I'm saying? Get all her contraband and shit. I said, I'm finna hit the bell. So, she tell me, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I get down and I hit the bell. I said, like, hey, I say, like, CO need to come up here and check on, you know what I'm saying? Um, whatever sale, um, say just say 281, and she just failed. You know what I'm saying? She just failed. They asked, she just failed. I said, yeah, she just failed. Now, 
I did what I was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? I did exactly what I was supposed to do. I just made sure. I just want to make sure the bitch one dead. It is what it is. So me and Miss Wendy standing in the door looking at the CEOs when they come upstairs and shit. So when they come over there, um, you know, they open up the door and they ask, they ask her cell, like, how did she fall? And the cell said she was trying to get up on her bed. Now, when she fell off that fucking sink, she fell backwards. She hit her back up on a, on a metal desk. That was next to the sink and hit the floor. You know what I'm saying? All the time, unbeknownst to all of us, this bitch had broke her back. You know what I'm saying? So, the CEOs called over for the infirmary and shit. And me and Miss Wendy seeing them. Now, when the infirmary come over there, these motherfuckers ain't got no stretches, no wheelchairs, no shit. It's just four of these motherfuckers walk up the stairs. You know, they put on their gloves and shit. They asking, uh, you know, can you, can you move and all this? She say she hurt. They didn't give a fuck. They picked the girl up, you know what I'm saying, and just carry her out. She bent over and shit, she could barely walk. But they make this bitch walk down the whole flight of fucking stairs. And they make her walk all the way over to the to the infirmary. So, you know, everybody in, I mean, it kind of threw the pie in the uproar. Because you clearly hear motherfuckers say she failed. So why the fuck would you make her walk? You know, say so everybody, man, they bogus. They don't give a fuck about us and all this other shit. And it kind of put a, like, a little damper on my spirit. It's like, yo, this is the type of place we in. You know what I'm saying? So I get up in the bed. And me and Miss Wendy say our good nights and all this other shit. I go to sleep. The next morning when we get up and go to, you know, go outside. Well, not go outside. But go downstairs to serve breakfast and shit. All the COs and stuff is, is fast tracking everything. You know what I'm saying? All right, hurry up and fix this. Hurry up and feed them. You guys only have a certain amount of time to eat. Hurry up and eat. Get up and go back to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Now, they sometimes they be on bullshit, but I have never seen them on this kind of bullshit. And I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? So, when, when, when breakfast is over, they're rushing us. They're literally rushing us to clean up and shit. And I'm like, okay, okay, what's the thing? they like, clean up and go back to your cell. All the time, they was locking us down. You know what I'm saying? They was getting ready to shake our ass down. Me, personally, I didn't give a fuck. So when we get back in our cell and shit, I'm cool and comfortable because I don't got no fucking contraband. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any contraband, contraband none whatsoever. I'm cool. So me, when the, when the COs and all this other shit bring all these fucking troops, that's what I call their ass, up in there pushing this big ass, um, this big ass podium filled with all these handcuffs and all this other shit and putting on gloves and all this other shit, I'm, I'm standing in the door so I can watch the motherfucking show because I can see other cells that's getting hit. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I'm comfortable because I have absolute no fucking contraband. However, Behind me, I hear a whole bunch of rustling and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I turn around, Miss Wendy pulling shit off from up under her mattress. She pulling shit from under tables and everything. What the fuck? What is this? What is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, Miss Wendy, where you got all this shit from? All the time, this bitch got a whole fucking store right up under my motherfucking nose. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if the bitch thought I stole shit and was steal, but damn, bitch, what was you gonna let me know this shit was going on? So she tell me, she say, hey, I need you to, you, I need you to cuff some of this shit. You need me to cuff some of what? You know what I'm saying? This bitch got packs of kite. And when I say packs, I mean this bitch got like 10 packs of kite. So she tell me, I need you to cuff some of this. What do you mean you need me to cuff some of this? Where am I going to put it? They're going to search me just as well as they're going to search you. She said, I need you to stuff it. What do you mean? You know what I'm saying? Bitch, how am I going to stuff a pack of kite? Do you know how big my pussy is? You know what I'm saying? I cannot put a whole pack of kite inside my pussy. She like, no, take it up out the pack and put it into like a potato chip bag and stuff that shit. Now, here's the thing. Miss Wendy had been bringing me kites. Um, She had been bringing me kites for a whole fucking week from different bitches and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, when your celly do shit for you, do certain shit for you, automatically she wants you to do shit for her. You know what I'm saying? Just so happened, this is the shit she wanted me to do for her. I could not tell her no. You know what I'm saying? So even though this shit is blowing me, I'm like, all right. So I watched Miss Wendy to open three packs of fucking kite, pour it into a potato chip bag, roll that shit up like a miniature dick, fold it in, wrap tape all the way around it, and hand it to me. That shit had to be about this motherfucking long and about this thick. You know what I'm saying? So I got to sit down on the toilet and stuff a motherfucking potato chip bag filled with motherfucking kite in my pussy. Do you know how annoyed I was? You know what I'm saying? In my head, Miss Wendy was all kind of bunion-toed motherfucking bitches. Why would you do this? 
You know what I'm saying? And furthermore, bitch, you ain't even let me know the shit was going on. So I stuffed the I stuffed the kite in my pussy. And I gotta be honest, I was a sucker. I was a bitch. I start complaining. You know what I'm saying? This is uncomfortable. I don't like the way this feels, Miss Wendy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing this shit no more. I'm telling her all of this. You know what I'm saying? So I tell her, I said, what if these motherfuckers tell me to bend over, squat, and cough? I said, this shit gonna fall out of my pussy. You know, it just is what it is. So she tell me, she said, hey, put on two pads. That way, if they do tell you to take off your clothes, you can tell them you on your period. They gonna leave you the fuck alone. I was like, I, right, I'm snatching pads, opening that shit up, putting it in my panties. I'm talking about I'm annoyed. Now, I get up, I get up on my bunk, and I'm just gonna lay there. You know what I'm saying? I feel violated. It just is what it is. So, I get a tap. You know what I'm saying? I get a tap. So, I look over at Miss Wendy. I'm like, what's up? You know, I'm no, I'm not bubbly like I normally am. None of this shit. I'm like, what's up? She said, I need you to stuff this. This bitch got a bundle of motherfucking pills. Where the fuck you get that from? You know what I'm saying? Where the fuck did you become Gazelle Blanco? Where did you get that from, Miss Wendy? You know what I'm saying? She, I, I, I need you to stuff this. Miss Wendy, I don't have no more room in my pussy. You know what I'm saying? Where am I going to put that at? She tell me, I need you to stuff it in your ass. Miss Wendy, we are cool. We close, but I'm not stuffing that sack of pills in my motherfucking ass for you. You know what I'm saying? She, listen, I already got one. I got one in me, and I got a potato chip bag in me as well. I need you to stuff this one. She, I tell her, I say, Miss Wendy, I'm not stuffing that in my ass. She gonna say, well, we gotta take them. Miss Wendy, now you finna turn me into a motherfucking dope fiend? That's what you finna do, bitch? Take them? I, I didn't volunteer for this. I'm not taking no motherfucking pills. I said, why you gonna flush them? You know what I'm saying? She tell me, she said she don't want to get caught up just in case the shit don't go down because they so light. I said, Miss Wendy, listen. I said, I want to help you out. I said, I already got a pussy full of kite. I said, I don't, I don't want to do nothing else. She look at me with those little beady ass ass. Please, I won't ask you nothing else. Just please, I won't ask you nothing else. So against my better judgment, I got down off my bunk, took Vaseline, wrapped it around this little sack full of pills and stuffed it in my ass now I gotta clench my motherfucking ass cheeks together until the motherfucking CEOs come to search our cell when I say I was a mad yellow beige bitch up in there I was mad than a motherfucker so the CEOs come to the cell you know what I'm saying tell us to step out my ass cheeks are clenched you know they go up under my titties Tell me pull my bra out, you know what I'm saying? Go around my waistline, shake me down, you know, search me up, search me down. And then they tell me pull my hands behind my back so I can cuff up. You know what I'm saying? They do the same thing to Miss Wendy. Not that I was in any trouble or anything, but this was proper protocol while they searched our cells. They didn't want us running inside the cell. Now, all this time, I'm sitting up there um, trying to help Miss Wendy stuff shit and putting shit in my ass and stuff. Stuffing shit up in my pussy. You know what I'm saying? I forgot that I got a pillow full of motherfucking kites from bitches. You know what I'm saying? I got about 40 motherfucking kites. I got about 40 motherfucking kites. And here's one of the things that happens. When CEOs find your mail, what they do, they normally, typically, they typically read your shit out loud. Put everybody in your fucking business. So don't be trying to creep with no shit. These motherfuckers stood in our cell after they searched the fucking cell and read each motherfucking kite word for word you knew who wanted to eat my pussy you knew who wanted me to write my name on a pearl tongue you knew who ate ass and every fucking thing i was so fucking embarrassed you know what i'm saying and to add insult to injury while these motherfuckers reading the kite i look over miss wendy and this bitch up there smiling that's all right, bitch. Tomorrow, pack your shit. You getting the fuck up out of my cell. I swear. I was so motherfucking mad at Miss Wendy. And I, I just had my heart set. Tomorrow, you getting the fuck up out of here, buddy. You know, that was it for you. <laughs> and listen, with that, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all be smooth. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.